How many possible circuits in a complete graph? Well, we're given here for n vertices, the number of vertices in a complete graph, there will be n minus 1 factorial routes. n minus 1 factorial is n at minus 1 times n minus 2 times n minus 3 as you keep going down to 3 times 2 times 1. Now, be careful with this. This is kind of double counting a circuit, basically a circuit going one way and reverse. Think of it as clockwise versus counterclockwise on the same path. It's a, well, it's the same circuit, just going a different way, but it's still the same combination in the same exact order, just backwards. So if you want to find unique circuits, we take that same n minus 1 factorial and divide it by 2 to get rid of that half. So how many unique circuits, let's say, if we have a complete graph, again, this only works for complete graphs, all right, we have, let's say, n equals 8. So how many unique circuits are there when n equals 8, n vertices? Well, what we want to do is use our formula here. We have an 8 minus 1 factorial over 2. Now, 8 minus 1 is a 7. Be careful with this. 7 factorial over a 2. And a 7 factorial comes out to be a 5,040. So there's 5,040 circuits that exist on a complete graph of 8, right? But we're double counting the reverse one, so we divide that by 2. And unique graphs, we have 2,520. 2,520 unique roots on a graph, unique complete or circuits here on a complete graph. So again, remember this only works for complete graphs, but there we have our formula and our answer for example is eight. As you can tell, as vertices get larger and larger, uh, there's more and more of them, the number of unique circuits grows a lot. Well, anyway, I hope you learned something here about complete graphs and how many possible circuits are in them. And as always, thanks for watching.